this is the optical profiler that we have in our advanced tribology laboratory. Today we are going to demonstrate how to operate this machine. We have two optical pin, the one at the back and the one at the front. We easily use the one at the front with a black holder. This is the sample stage. You can put your sample inside the stage and secure it with the set screw from the left. We have two step motor. This is motor one and this is motor two. Motor one moves the samples towards the X direction and motor two moves the stage towards the Y direction. We have two still initial sensor. The one on the top is used for the black pin and the one at the bottom is used for the pin at the back. Here is our sample. We have performed reciprocating wear test on this sample. We would like to do the optical profile of these specimens. We need to measure the dimension of this specimen where we want to do the optical profiling. We will scan by 9 mm. Place your sample inside the specimen holder. Secure it with the set screw. We will scan 14 mm in y direction and 9 mm in x direction. This is the Velmex stepping motor controller. Turn on the Velmex stepping motor controller. Turn on still initial sensor. Open Cosmos from desktop. Open CCS manager from desktop. Click connect. We need to perform dark signal acquisition. Today we are going to use this pen and in order to perform the dark signal, blank off the light beam by placing a piece of paper over the tip of the optical pen and click dark from the software in CCS manager click the dark signal acquisition button press ok dark succeeded during dark signal acquisition test the intensity and measure LED indicators on the front panel blink on and off in green alternatively to indicate the process, uh, operation is in progress. When the measurement is done, the intensity and measure LED indicator blink on and off simultaneously. Adjust your pen and adjust the focal distance. You can move your uh, optical pen up and down by using this set screw and try to focus the sample Make sure the distance is at the middle and intensity at the middle. Sir. Here are the calculations that we need to do for the x-axis. So number of steps multiplied by the distance per step multiplied by the loops, number of loops we need to do during the profiling are equivalent to the distance we need to cover. In x-axis we are covering 9 millimeters, so it will be 9 multiplied uh, 1000 micrometer. Number of steps for this scan will do 25 steps. Number of distance per step will be 3.175 micrometer distance is covered by each motor in every step and we will calculate the number of loops we need to do to cover 9 millimeter distance during the profiling. So the, the number of loops in the x-axis will be 9 multiplied 1000 divided by 25 multiplied 3.175 it comes to 113.3 loops so we will do 114 loops for the x axis and for y axis we will do 177 loops during this scan the optical pen will move 25 steps from the initial point to the next point and then it will move 25 steps the next point and this way our total loops is 114 so it will go 114 times in that direction 
to cover the whole 9 millimeter and then it will come back all along to the initial position so that will be 114 multiplied 25 because it covers 25 steps uh, in each step and then it will go back in y direction one step and it will repeat the whole sequence again and it will come back it will go in <coughs> one step in y direction and it will do the sequence all and again close CCS manager from desktop go to program files Vilmex script files open general script file put 25 for the number of uh, steps in every step PA minus 200 means 200 millisecond pause in each step LA 184 that's the number of loops in the x direction and I1M minus 2850 is the total 9 millimeter distance that will be covered by the pen in the reverse direction I2M25 is the number of uh, steps in y direction for the num motor 2 and L177 is the number of loops in y direction change the script file accordingly before running the test and save as under your name don't change the general script file so change it under your name save click example 3 shortcut from desktop enter the output file name as test enter the maximum number of data points you want so it will be the multiplication of number of loops in x and y direction so in our case number of data point in x direction is 114 and number of data point in y direction is 117 so the total number of data points we have is 20178 and then it will say do you want to invert mode of data acquisition input one for the inverted and zero or any other number for non inverted so you will press zero click one for burst mode enter the acquisition frequency so we will use a uh, two th uh, two thousand hertz so press zero five enter the acquisition averaging value so we will not do any averaging so press one then it will ask for you to open the sensor and uh, enter the result file name so then you need to open the sensor so in order to do so you have to go to the cosmos go file run program go to profiler files Velmex script files and the data file you just like the script file you just saved open that script file After the test has been done, uh, you can see in the example 3 shortcut, acquisition is over, please press any key to exit. Close the example 3, close Cosmos from desktop. All test data will be saved in test results shortcut. Click on this folder. Click on your file. So our file is test. It will be open in Excel. Copy altitude. Open a new text document. Rename it as a text. You 
rename it as test paste all of your data go at the top remove altitude save your file open spip 6.0.6 .6 from desktop in the file name click browse select your file select ASCII number of X and Y pixel so in the X pixel the number of loops that we have done for X axis is 114 and Y pixel will be number of loops that we have done in Y axis it will be 177 the number of image should be 1 X size in nanometer so the it will be how much we have done scan we have done in X axis the X size will be number of loops multiplied by number of steps in this case is 25 multiplied by the distance per step is 3.175 micrometer so in total it will be 9.04875 e to the power 6 nanometer and for Y size it will be the same as uh, 177 multiplied by 3.175 multiplied by 24 so it will be 14.049375 e to the power 6 Z factor should be 1000 and then hit apply this is a two dimensional image of our scan if you want to rotate it you just need to go modify hit rotate rotate right 90 degree so this is the image of our scan in order to see the three dimensional image go general and then hit a 3d view It will give you a three-dimensional view of our sample but you can see there is some spikes in here so you just need to do some post modification of your two-dimensional image those noise you need to re reduce those noise in order to do so just go filtering this spiking spikes medium it will remove all those noise from the two-dimensional image and then go plane correction global leveling and then plane correction again zero background hit 3d view it will give you a three-dimensional view of your scan so these are the four we are tracks that we have done and you can see the three-dimensional view of this we are track from the profiler remove your sample from a specimen holder put the hood back in turn off the still initial chromatic sensor and turn off the motor thank you very much for watching this video please read the instruction manual before performing any test for the new user Please contact with me or Dr. Farad for assistance. Thanks.